Hello, and I'm Robert the Plumber. Just go to robertheplumber.com and you can see all about our services. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about installing a new water heater. Okay, These are some of the parts that you'll need to install a water heater. These are called the water connectors. This is a nut by nut. Some situations you're going to require a nut by sweat. And in that case, you're going to need to use your little torch kit, okay? We use map gas. This is your wire solder. This is your paste flux. If you're using the um, uh, iron pipe fittings for assembling the gas lines and the gas valves, you're going to use some Prodo pipe joint compound. Okay, that's for your gas lines and iron pipe. PVC glue. We use this for gluing on the PVC pipe to the water heater drain pans. Teflon tape. We're going to use that to wrap around the nipples on the top of the water heater so that when we connect our water connectors, we've got a good seal. These also come with a rubber seal, but we always use a little Teflon tape for insurance. These are your various fittings for assembling the water heater installation. You're always going to need to use your torch to sweat on some copper fittings. You'll always need to cut the temperature and pressure relief line, that's copper, and then put it back together with either a coupling or a 90, whatever it calls for there. Sometimes you're going to have to relocate a gas line because maybe the water heater you're installing is larger. In that case, you're going to use a pipe wrench, turn the gas off at the meter, take the pipe wrench, take the gas pipe out of the wall, insert the proper length of gas pipe, uh, reconfigure it to fit your needs, and so that's where you're going to use your pipe wrenches and your pro dope. Okay? Earthquake straps. You're going to need to install a set of code approved earthquake straps. These are an inch and a half wide. You put one approximately 20 inches from the bottom and one approximately 48 inches from the floor to the top. If you need to trim or cut the old straps off, have a pair of tin snips. When you're installing your earthquake restraints, you want to use something like this impact wrench. Okay, it'll drive the uh, lag bolts really quick and save you a lot of time. Otherwise, you're going to need to use the old socket wrench. Okay, that's going to take you a lot of time and uh, it really wears on your wrist and muscles, you know, after installing so many a day. So, invest in a little impact wrench. It goes really quick. These are your flue parts. That's for the exhaust ventilation, ventilation at the top of the water heater. Okay, you're always going to need to replace one or two of these 90s and possibly a, a length of the three inch flue pipe. They come in various sizes. Three and four inches are most common. Okay? Tape measures. Always have a good tape measure on hand. These are your tubing cutters. Okay? Various sizes for different jobs. Okay? Clean shop towels. Always have a couple of clean shop towels on your job site, okay? You want to keep the work area clean and uh, respect the customer's home. After you've completed your installation of your new water heater and your service provider, always put an ID tag on the face of the water heater with your phone number so the customer that can call you back readily. You know, make yourself available seven days a week. And I'm Robert the Plumber, robertheplumber.com. Live here.